Hello everybody, in this video I'll show you what the Big Bang Orchestra 4NX is all about with the pitched percussion and additional grand pianos that make this package a really impressive collection. And we'll start with the first set that's drums and pianos. As always, in the Synchron player you can see the articulations here. So we not only have ringing notes that sound like this, but you can choose from a selection of different other articulations. Now let's check out what the mixer looks like. It shows us which microphones of all the available microphones we have recorded are actually open right now. So we have a room mix. This will be good for you CPU, but of course you have the Decatree surround high, high surround mixes, and you have the overhead mixes of the different, of the three different settings we've recorded the pitched percussion in. So that's three pianos, the Imperial to the left, you can see that here in the mixer, the Steinway in the middle, and the Yamaha CFX to the right, doubling the note that we play on the Taiko to the left, of course not pitched, in the middle you see the timpani and to the right side it's the bass drum. And all of those instruments are now playing at the same time as I hit one note. Of course in different velocities. And as you have a mixer in here, why not make the Imperial a little louder and maybe um, the timpani as well? It's a little bit like a dream situation. If you're in a studio and you're thinking about what kind of sounds could I produce, what could I use? We just have so many things that sound so good together. So recording that, all of this in the same hall uh, with focused players with different articulations is just really cool to have. And of course, as we have all those microphones available, why not take advantage of our mixer presets? Right now we're playing with the room mix, but let's go to the surround to stereo mix and I'm gonna check the classic surround to stereo, you see that some microphone channels are opening right now. So I have the main and main center microphone of the Decatree and the high stereo microphone that captures the room size a little bit more. And, now, and, of, course, and of course, all the microphones for the different instruments. And of course, in the mixer, you can design your own mix. You can see that we have used the integrated EQs for the different sections just to get a really good sound that fits together, that is a good basement for your arrangement uh, with the Big Bang Orchestra 4NX here. Let's check out the other articulations. This is ringing. But you also have a seco articulation. You, you can see the key switches here on the lower side of the keyboard. On C1, you switch between ringing and seco. So the instrument is triggered and then um, muted as fast as possible. And if these big instruments are swinging and are already sounding, it takes a little time to mute them. It's a cool effect, but it's also very realistic. So you have that impulse. And of course you could use time stretching to make that shorter or longer. That's a new feature in here. So if you go into the edit page and just say, I want to put a switch on time stretching just for the seco articulation. And I just want to make it much faster. This will work easily. Let's check out the ringing rolls on D1. and they have a long reverberation time. Of course, always with many velocities. And the same with seco rolls. Let's just wait a little bit until the notes have ringed out. So seco rolls.
So you see the room sound is really important, the size of the room is important, and of course, if everything's swinging, all those pianos, all those different um, percussion instruments, they are adapting and influencing the sound of each other. So it's really about this magical combination of different instruments. Let's check out what the processed mixer presets sound like. Uh, let's check out the delayed piano attack. Let's check out the mixer preset that sounds interesting. And what we're doing in here is we're using the effects that are available here in the mix in the background. You can, you can go crazy in here. So it's not just the recorded um, articulations that we have in here. It's really about how you can make it sound, how you can make, how you can influence the mixer. Everything's automatable. Spooky melodies, let's try this one, just with the simple articulation. And you hear this uh, delay that's always synced to your tempo. Of course, you have a compressed variation here as well. and a compressed variation with boom, so you get a lot of uh, the lower middle frequencies. Everything perfectly recorded, and you can be your own sound engineer here with the EQs, with the, the panning, with whatever you want to add in here. Let's check out, let's go back to the stereo decatree mix. Let's take the wide decatree mix just to have a little bit of an impression of what's possible. You see the decatree is open here on the left side. And check out what the rolls are like, crescendo rolls on E1. Two seconds crescendos. Instant suspense, very easy to use in any arrangement. Of course, this is something that automatically triggers anticipation. Four seconds, crescendos. Again, time stretching is an option here. And we have the clusters and you can Check out the key info here just to have an idea of what's happening at which position also on the keys here. So I have the ringing of clusters here on C and D3. Two variations and the seco. Then I have the loose ringing and very loose ringing on F and G. And loose always refers to the timing. So we have um, up to six players here and the loose and very loose articulations, we just had to tell them who's coming first, who's coming next. So you have a little bit more of an authentic performance. Not everything is always on time and you don't need it on time all the time. That's F sharp, loose seco, we're here. Octave upbeat. Upbeat loose. Multiple upbeats here on C5. And always imagine you're in control A of Synchron Stage Vienna, 
the most beautiful recording stage in the world. And this is what you're recording right now. You're listening to this on big speakers. This is recorded the best way we could. So you can use those sounds and really dig into the depth of the sound. And then go crazy with everything, all the effects and the cues that are available in here. Or just add effects of your own on top of it. Combine it with other things. So it, this is a pretty cool treasure chest. Multiple upbeat seco. I mean, where do you get three grand pianos, a timpani, taiko, and a bass drum when you need it? Just have it right here. And you have those rolls on C6. If you let them ring, if you keep your finger on the key, they will ring on forever. Um, so a lot of sounds to explore in here. And this is just the first preset. Uh, that's called drums and pianos. I'm just going to switch that away. We're going to come to the next setup, which is the big timpani. Again, this has another... Uh, choice in here. So you can choose with A0 and B0 between the hard and the soft beta um, for the different instruments. Let's check out the setup. So you have the Oraiko, the big taiko, the timpani in the middle and the bass drum on the side. Instead of recording the piano, we took the close microphones of the piano and recorded the resonance of the pianos that you can mix in just to give more effect to this big timpani sound. And this is now the soft beater, and we're going to start with this one. And uh, we're going to go to a different mixer preset. I love the surround to stereo mixes. Let's just stick to the classic surround to stereo. Sounds like this. Now let's listen to what the bleeding of the Imperial, for example, sounds like. What does it sound like when I open the bleeding of the Steinway? Or the Yamaha? So it adds a little bit to that sound. The system here is the same. C1 to F sharp 1 takes you through ringing. Seco, rolls ringing, roll seco, and the different crescendo variations. Two seconds. and four seconds. Go in, change the mix however you like. Um, let's go to the processed mixer presets. This is, I always pointed out, there's a lot of fun in there. Let's just take the It Bleeds processed mixer preset. Just working with the bleeding that is recorded in the bodies of those big concert pianos. Sound design whenever you need it. Um, moving boom, so we're trying to make this even bigger. Monster timpani. That's now without the bleeding. Let's go back to the ringing articulation. Maybe switch to the hard beta, just to give you a little bit of an overview. This is what you need when you need a big timpani. Uh, let's go to the wobbler. And check out ringing again. Seco.
Doomsday. Pretty speaking names. Skynet. Just gonna switch that in. And Skynet long. Stop with a roll crescendo. Just to end this, go back to the stereo decatry and just choose the closed decatry. Let's listen to what the closed microphone sound like for this setup. You see that the decatry is really very low in volume. It's more of the closed microphones in general. And of course, the room is what's important. If you want to make a big impression, just go to a great recording stage like we did with our Synchron stage and just record the greatest samples and incorporate them in your mix. So the Big Timpani set is benefiting from the bleeding sound that we recorded inside those pianos. Let's check out what the low bells and pianos sound like. Again, our great pianos, the Bösendorf Imperial to the left, Steinway in the middle, and the Yamaha CFX to the right with low plates with the Imperial, tubular bells in the middle with the Steinway, and low gongs with the Yamaha. Sounds like this. <laughs> Let's just check out the low plates. The tubular bells. Of course you hear a little bit of the bleeding of the other instruments and the low gongs. And all together this creates a great sound. And as always, don't forget the mixer presets, because right now we're just dealing with a classic room mix, which is a mix of all available room microphones. Let's just open up this whole thing a little bit. And again, classic surround to stereo. You can't go wrong with this one. The decatry is open, the high surround microphone is open, and all overheads and the close mics are also open. <laughs> And of course, this room is now working with you and for you and take advantage of this. So you have ringing sounds here. Again, key switching, ringing and seco. Ringing rolls and when I mean ringing with those instruments, they ring on for a long time. Check out the different velocities. and the second rows that are stopped. And just to stop the instruments and to listen what's happening in the room with these big instruments, that makes quite a difference. Um, let's check out some of the mixer presets here as well, the processed presets, the underwater bells, just see what Burnt has done here. Let's check out, you can always check what, what we're doing in the background. You have a, a compressor here, you have a plate reverb, you can open those uh, little effects plugins in here and just alter anything you like. Let's just see what's happening with the different instruments, what it sounds like. And switch back to the ringing sound. Um, the pianos with extras. I wonder what the extras are.
Now, if for some reason you wouldn't like that phaser, just switch it off and it's gone. You can always work within these presets. They are starting points and ideas to make you work with it. It's just really cool to have them. The bouncy sound sounds like this. So you have a fast delay on top of that. Orc pianos. And from the mountains. You see, in this case, it's only the tubular bells that are open. We're working a lot with the room sound. Now, if I wanted to mix in the Steinway, let's just activate that channel and bring in the Steinway. And this way you can work your way through those different instruments. Let's get to the next preset and that's high bells. You see, um, there's always depending on what the instruments can do, you have different choices in here. The high bells are a great combination of cymbals, triangles and gongs. Of course, in the upper range of the keyboard, You only have a ringing and a seco variation. Let's switch to seco. And uh, get back to ringing. Just have a look through the mixer presets. The room is everything that counts. Let's take the distant Decca tree. And you can see what happened in the mixer. We took that little trick when we record the bleeding signal inside the body of the pianos with the closed microphones just to get that distant sound. But we can always mix the direct signal of the plate in. Or of the tubular bells, just activate the channel. Just play around with those different settings. Um, check out the Mystic Bells, some of the processed presets. Sunday morning, we're in a Catholic country. Burnt can't get around that phaser. Pretty cool with bells. Again, switch it off if you don't like it. Everything's customizable. Okay, there's some phaser still hiding here in the effects. Let's find it. Well, it's on all the overhead microphones. If you want to creep into the mind of Burnt, our main sound engineer, this is how he's designing those presets. There's, uh, there's so many aspects. It's not just microphones. It's not just room microphones and the direct microphones. It's the overheads. It's how you route them. It's how you work with additional reverb on top. A lot to learn in here. Let's get to bleeding bells, some compressors here. And the drunken altar boy.
think I'll have to find out what story is behind that preset. Um, so that's the high bells and you have the high gongs. By now you know the mixer, you have the bleeding signal from the different pianos and you have cymbals to the left, triangles in the middle and gongs to the right side. This is the high frequency spectrum. And the preset that opens, as always, with the factory presets is the CPU-friendly room mix preset. Of course, you can get distant room mixes here as well. But you'll get a better starting position from something like the surround to stereo mixes. We'll go to the classic surround to stereo simply because you have more uh, ways to control how the room actually reacts to those instruments. This is ringing, this is seco. All right. And um, let's maybe get too wet to surround to stereo. You might need that for these kind of instruments. And then find out what's in our special box, the processed mixer presets. Stutter. Everything always in mind in how can you create effects that make sense musically, a fading stutter. Try the groove. Echoing gongs. Let's switch off symbols and triangles here. And change the delay a little bit. You see, you can influence everything. I want more feedback there. I want the thinning to be more effective here. and maybe less damping. And you can switch ping pong on. So lots of options in there. And we have astronomy as the last processed preset for the gong setup. Now let's unmute those two here. Again, working with the bleeding signal from the pianos um, is it interesting what kind of sounds you can get out of those percussion instruments. All right, let's get back to the classic surround to stereo just as an orientation. And here we are. This is Big Bang Orchestra 4 next, the big guns pitch percussion with incredible grand pianos as a backup. Enjoy. <laughs> 